There is the man. Well, Kurt Browning, just where he was a year ago, second going into the free skating program. He won the free skate last year to capture the world championship in Paris. He knows what Petrenko has done, thus what he must do now. playing a little safe. There's a lot of program to make points, and I don't think one should blow it right at the beginning of the program. on the strength, the interpretation, but of course, the technical abilities to do the jumps. So difficult. strength here. He has got to put the steam on right now. Got a minute and a half to go. I'm not 
sure that it is going to be Victor Petrenko. I think it's not going to be Victor Petrenko, probably because of the lack of strength in the middle of the program, but I may be wrong. I hope I am wrong. I have never seen a reaction like this for any figure skating any place. There's his father standing up. They were on their feet and screaming throughout the last 35 or 40 seconds of this performance. This magnificent audience in Halifax. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. <laughs> Very quiet, folks, the quiet man in the building. We're going to be right back. Has his body in the first set of marks are coming out. Goodness gracious, I think perhaps on the strength of those marks, he has done it. He has come from behind Petrenko, his first set of marks. Petrenko did not get anything like that array of five nines. All five nines saved two. And now the second group, and it's the same story for Kurt Browning. It's not over yet. There are three other skaters, but he has beaten Victor Petrenko in this free skating program and taken over the lead. And there's nobody else left that can skate here and beat either one of those two. So Kurt Browning has retained, which probably, I would think, Taller has to be about the toughest job for a champion. Ted, I think that the, the remarkable...